Hi friends, welcome to the Met Kids Backyard. My name is Jolie and I'm so happy to see you today. We have big plans for today. Do you know why? Because we are learning about God's big plans for each of us. Do you know that God has a plan for you? God has a plan for me? It's true. When I say, who has a plan for you? You say, God has a plan for me. Who has a plan for you? That's right. God does have a plan. A really, really awesome plan. I am excited to introduce to you a new song that is all about God's awesome plan. So let's stand up and worship God together. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know that. Great job, friends. God has a plan for you, and it's awesome. And God has a plan for me. Plans? What plans? Hey, Nutmeg. I guess you overheard me talking to the kids. Yep, I heard you talking about the plan. Wait, what plan are you talking about? I'm glad you asked. Here's the plan. It's called Operation Get Nutmegs and Acorns for Lunch. Here's how it's going down. There are hundreds of acorns in the Met Kids' backyard, ripe and ready for the taking. However, there's just one problem. Ace, the backyard dog, is on the prowl. He's a friendly dog, but there's something about squirrels that triggers his hunting instincts. Last time I had a run-in with Ace ended with me pinned down and slobbered on the head, head to toe. It was disgusting. Ew. Tell me about it. My beautiful fur coat still smells like liver and onions. Yuck. I'm determined not to let that happen again. And that is where you and the kids come in. You guys are going to distract Ace by waving your hands in the air while making wild turkey sounds. Now this is really an important job, so let's get a little practice in. Down and slobbered on the head, head to toe. It was disgusting. Ew. Tell me about it. My beautiful fur coat still smells like liver and onions. Yuck. I'm determined not to let that happen again. And that is where you and the kids come in. You guys are going to distract Ace by waving your hands in the air while making wild turkey sounds. Now this is really an important job, so let's get a little practice in. Okay, I think we can do that. Sound good, kids? All right, I'm going to need your help. Great, everyone put your hands up in the air. Now wave them side to side. Good, good. Now keep it up and add wild turkey sounds. Boop, boop, boop. Perfect, I think we're ready. On the count of three, you're gonna make the wild turkey sounds while waving your arms in the air to distract Ace. Meanwhile, I'll sneak away, snatch up as many acorns as my little hands can carry, and then bring them back to my treehouse to enjoy. Ready? One, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. Ha! Great job, 
job, everyone. The plan actually worked. I have acorns for days. I couldn't have done it without you. We were happy to help you with your plan. Now, maybe you can help us with ours. You mean your plan wasn't Operation Get Nutmegs and Acorns for lunch? Uh, not exactly. We were talking about God's plan for us. Oh, well, why didn't you say anything? It's no problem. Why don't you help us with our new memory verse for this month? It is found in Jeremiah 29 11, and it goes like this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29 11. Now, this next time, you can say it with me. Go ahead and stand up on your feet. And Nutmeg, you can join in too. Now this is a plan I can get excited about. All right, here we go. For I know. For I know. The plans I have for you. The plans I have for you. Says. Says. The Lord. The Lord. Open your Bibles to Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. That's right. God has a plan for you and God has a plan for me. And the way he made each one of us is just as he planned. Let's sing to God about how much we love the way he made us. It's me, Jack. I'm so glad you are here today. I was just about to do something really fun and exciting. My friend Jolie is on her way with a big box full of stuff to look through. She said it will help me with my plans for a very special party, an ice cream sundae party, and I cannot wait. Do you like ice cream? If you do, then lick your lips and say, mmm. Me too. My favorite flavor is chocolate with a lot of sprinkles. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Jolie, you're here. And I brought some sweet stuff for the party you've been planning. Yes, this is gonna be amazing. Can you show me what you bought? Of course. Check this out. Whoa, look at those colorful ice cream bowls. We definitely need these in my party plan. And these? Oh yes, spoons. You can't eat ice cream at an ice cream party without a spoon. Spoons are definitely part of my party plan. And of course, you have to have this. Ooh, the best part. Ice cream, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate, my favorite. You remembered, thank you, Jolie. You're welcome. That's what friends are for. And last but not least, you have to have these. Yes, decorations. A party isn't a party without decorations. I might be planning the best ice cream sundae party ever. Thank you for all your help, Jolie. Sure thing, Dak. See you later.
Bye. Well, I have everything I need, but there is still so much planning to do to make this the best party it can be. While I'm working on these plans, let's check out our Bible story for today. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 37. Repeat as loud as you can after me. The Bible is God's word. And the Bible is truth. Great job, kids. Today's story helps us learn that God has a plan for all of us. Check it out. Follow me through. Casey, and I'm helping out at the cupcake food truck. Happy Ice Cream Sunday month! <laughs> and what better thing to go with ice cream than cupcakes! See the little ice cream cones on top? I made them for my friend's ice cream Sunday party. He has big plans for his party. That reminds me of today's story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, Two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is all about a plan. Did you know that God has a plan for you? It's true, God has a plan for us. And he had a plan for Joseph too, like we see in this true story from the Bible. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph! <laughs> Joseph had 11 brothers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11! Whoa! That's a lot of brothers. <laughs> One day, Joseph's father gave him a special gift. It was a coat! An absolutely beautiful coat. When the brothers saw Joseph had a special coat and they didn't, how do you think they felt? Do you think they felt happy? Show me your happy face. Or do you think they felt mad? Show me your mad face. Which do you think they were? Yes, they were mad that Joseph had a special coat and they didn't. So, they took Joseph's coat away and threw him in the ground. That's not good. That would make me sad or mad or even scared. But do you know what? Joseph knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. Just then, his brother showed up and pulled Joseph out of the hole. Uh-oh. What are they doing? The brothers sent Joseph with some people going to Egypt, and they took him really, really, really far away. Things were not going well for Joseph, but he knew that God loved him, and he knew that God was always with him, so he could trust God's plan. God loved Joseph and had a plan for him. In fact, there is a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. And God loves us, and he has a plan for us, too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Wow, I loved hearing about Joseph. He knew that God loved him, and he trusted God to have an awesome plan. We'll hear more about what happened to Joseph next week. Speaking of plans, I think I'll ask for some help with my ice cream sundae party planning. It will be more fun with friends for sure. Let's say a prayer together, and then you guys get to have some fun in your small group. Close your eyes and pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the plan you had for Joseph. Joseph trusted you, and we do too. We know you have a plan for each of us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, everyone. See you next week.